Well, Cam, uh, are you getting used to this, these camps now? You're, this is, I think you're looking for seventh or eighth international match here. Yeah, they yeah they certainly uh, come thick and fast, don't they? Um, only made my uh, debut seems like yesterday, um, but no, yeah, they come thick and fast, and they're exciting still. So it's um, yeah, pleasure to be here. How do you think you're fitting in in international football? Yeah, good. Honestly, the anyone could come and fit in this group of lads. Um, they're brilliant. Um, I wouldn't expect anything different really, but yeah, it's uh, it's been really good and yeah, really enjoyable. Sorry, you get it. No, you're right. Well, these opponents that you're coming up against are probably not. Once play different football to what you're used to. Um, how do you feel about taking on Lebanon and these sides? Yeah, it's different challenges, I suppose. Um, probably used to a similar way that they played maybe last season in my uh, time at Ipswich in League One, where teams would play a little bit different, try and stop you playing as much. So, um, yeah, it's not too unfamiliar, but it's uh, yeah different challenges and yeah, looking forward to it. When did you get in? Uh, I'm trying to think now. Uh, yes, yesterday morning, so uh, I think 7 a.m. Uh, local time. So yeah, ready to go. Do you know much about Lebanon? Uh, I actually have a friend who plays there uh, in their league, so uh, he's been keeping me up to date. We um, you know a little bit, and obviously we'll we'll get to know them pretty well over this uh, next couple of days, looking at some footage of them and working well in the training ground. Yeah, I was going to say, have you started that process? That the FPNL? Uh, not not too much yet. Obviously, was, um, when I when we trained yesterday, there was only I think nine of us here. Obviously, most of the boys from the A League. Um, so yeah, not uh, we'll think we'll get into it sort of today and uh, tomorrow as well. So, can you talk a little bit about the pressure? Like you come in, you come in yesterday morning. You're playing uh, two days time. You've only got 60 minutes on the pitch together as a, the full team. What sort of pressure does that create trying to gel as a, as a squad? It's not really like uh, it's exciting more than anything. Um, Come in, get straight to work, um, and yeah, and good to, to play a game in front of the home crowd, really. Um, yeah, obviously, it's part of football, I suppose. Um, the longer you're part of the squad, the more you get used to it, I suppose, and yeah, yeah it's exciting times. So, you scored on the weekend, you had to score for the soccer roots. Yeah. The, uh, your, your pairing in the centre back, Harry Sutar, seems to score for fun for the soccer roots. <laughs> Any pressure there? No, not really. He's uh, he's obviously got a hell of a record. I think he's put pressure on himself to try and get as many as he can. Uh, he's chasing down um, some some good numbers. So no, it's uh, as long as we get wins and, and and we sort of reach our goals as a team, that's the most important thing. So um, yeah, it's everyone's delighted when he scores goals, and hopefully I can get a couple myself. How do you think your partnership with Harry is at the, at the back there? You can understand each other. That's one thing. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Um, we have a we have a similar understanding of how things uh, we like things to be done. Obviously. Um, it's easy to understand what the manager wants us to do as well. It's um, yeah, we're, we're pretty we're pretty well gelled. It didn't take long for me to fit in and what we do here. Um, and the messages are always clear. We kind of everyone's here because they're doing well at their clubs, I suppose. And and sort of bringing those strengths that you do week in week out at your club uh, is what gets you in in the team here. So yeah, it's uh, all have a similar understanding. We played a few games together now. So yeah, any, anyone who. I get the chance to play alongside. We have a we have a good understanding, uh, and Harry's no different. The only thing we ever hear about the championship is you know, how cutthroat and relentless it is. Um, how are you feeling at 30 something games of the season? Yeah, you've summed up pretty well, to be honest. It's um, it's grueling, to be fair. It's, there's a lot of games. Um, they're intense. It's uh, yeah, you're you're right in the thick of it. Um, um, but obviously, we've we've done really well so far, and. Um, got a lot to play for coming the end of the season. That's exactly where you want to be. So um, yeah, just going going strong as we possibly can, taking it one game at a time, and uh, exciting exciting to uh, to hopefully finish the season off strong. You said it feels like your debut was uh, five minutes ago. Was it five months ago, maybe, or something like that? But yeah. a year or two ago, did you think you'd be here talking about a World Cup qualifier? Did you think your chance was coming? Yeah, I mean, I guess I always believed uh, it would. Um, I mean, it's been said many times. I think you have to play well for your club to get this chance. Um, obviously, there's there's levels you have to be playing at as well. It's not just about playing playing well. It's about playing well at a, a high level. And um, hopefully, I've shown that over the last couple of years. And um, yeah, that's what's obviously got me into this team. And hopefully, what can keep me keep me in the team. Cameron, there's a lot of blokes in the soccer rooms with Scottish accents, and actually quite a lot playing in Scotland. Is there a little kind of sub click in the in the group? Of the, the Scottish exiles? Uh, not, not really. Obviously, it's um, there is a lot of boys with, a, with some sort of link to Scotland. Um, there always was, to be fair, ever since I played in the sort of uh, young soccer as there was a there was always a few lads who had some sort of tie to Scotland. Don't know why, but it just uh, seems to be the way it is. But um, no, there's there's no there's no clicks in this group. Everyone uh, is obviously buzzing to see each other every time we catch up, and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's a real good group.
who are the people in the group that really um, sort of energise that, that talk about that culture, the Socceroos culture? Um, the, the experienced boys, uh, Matty Ryan, uh, Jackson Irvine, the, those boys, um, they've, they've lived it for the best part of I don't know how many years now. They've, um, yeah, sort of the standard bearers, if you like. Um, but it's, it's obviously, uh, I guess, a real well cultured group on, on top of that. Um, it's, it's a good group, a humble group. Um, everyone's willing to work hard and there's, there's not too many times you have to remind boys of any standards. Everyone's here to, to do a job and, and do well. So yeah, it sort of pleases itself, I suppose. But those guys, um, they've, got, they've got the experiences to draw back on. You were talking before about the you know, one training session as a group. Um, and he doesn't have a lot of time for you. He's got a style of play that he wants to have, but he also wants people to you know, play their game. How much do you actually come together for that hour and say, well, this is our game plan, or how much does it say you do what you do? A bit of both. We have obviously our principles as a team um, that, we, that we try our best to stick to. Um, obviously, it's tough, isn't it, because you play against such a range of opposition. Um, like you said, we don't get a lot of time together. Um, like for example, in my, in my experience so far, I've played against England one game and the next you're playing against Bangladesh, two completely different teams from different parts of the world. It's, um, it's an experience like no other, I suppose. Um, and yet, yeah, it, is, it is tough to prepare for, but um, yeah, we're, we're used to that now as a group and um, yeah, we, we do the best we can in the training ground. Obviously, there's meetings and, and video analysis and, and all that sort of stuff. We have all the tools to help us prepare the best we can. And mate, uh, there's an announcement uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, and next window is going to be uh, having a home game in Perth. Um, your reaction to that, and uh, how it your potential of playing back there? Yeah, um, just really hoping I can get in that squad uh, for a start. Um, be be nice to to play at home for me, uh, especially. Um, obviously, I've had loads of ticket requests already. I says I need to get myself in the squad first, which would be good. Uh, but no, yeah, it's a really exciting time, obviously. Um, we haven't had a game in Perth for a while, um, and I certainly haven't played my, uh, myself in Perth for a while as well. So, um, yeah, it's something to, to look forward to, but obviously we have a couple of important games coming up here um, that we have, to, we have to get the job done first. What's the emotion with that? Was that something that you sort of could have dreamed about when uh, you first accepted that first call up, or when the when the, they gave you shout about playing for Australia? Yeah, I guess so. Um, the first one was uh, obviously making a debut, and then it was looking forward to actually playing a game in Australia as a as a whole. Um, so managed to do that in, in Melbourne, which was nice, um, and obviously got a hope for another chance to do that uh, over here as well again. Um, and then yeah, then. Perth would be would be an, another sort of tick in the book for me uh, personally, and obviously a few other lads that uh, have ties to Perth as well.